Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have another Frugal Friday for you. I did a quick shopping trip at Super One. It is our local grocery store. I really love this store. It is a good bargain. Plus, they do discounted meats. So I'm going to be showing you what I got this week and kind of why I'm choosing what I'm choosing. Currently, my family is going through a move, so I'm being a little less picky about things than I normally am. And I'm grabbing some convenience food as well, like Go-Gurts. Uh, they're a lot cheaper than the yogurt that I usually get. And the kids really like them, so we're spurging and getting some Go-Gurt. But anyway, so we're going to go through my haul. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carolina. I live in Montana. I do a lot of pantry cooking, budget shopping, and product reviews on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I'd love to have you come join my YouTube family. All right, guys, let's get in here and I'll show you what I picked up from my local grocery store this week. All right, I picked up some half and half. This was like $3.20, something around that. I usually just drink this in my coffee. Sometimes I use it for meals, but I mostly just raise it for my coffee. I got some 2% milk. I got a little thing of ketchup. And then first clearest thing, they had this white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. My husband loves cheesecakes. So I got this for him to throw into his lunch this week, or sometimes he likes, uh, we'll call him a midnight snack, but he usually eats a little snack before he goes to bed later when he's home all alone and everybody's asleep he likes a snack so I can save that for him as well I also picked up some ice cream this was only $4 um, peanut butter party I love the swirls of chocolate in there it's so good sometimes ice cream just hits the spot so got some ice cream got some go-gurts we also got some last week but they got the minecraft ones last week so Betty didn't get the unicorn one so now they're getting the unicorn ones this week so I mean, I never liked these because I feel like they have a lot of sugar, but um, it's 23 grams. Oh, serving size is three tubes. That's interesting. Oh, here's per tube. Okay. A serving size is three tubes, so you technically could have three, I guess. That's interesting. But for one tube here, it shows you what it's worth. 10 carbohydrates, 7 grams of sugar. I guess that's not too bad. I don't know. What do you think? you guys feed your kids Go-Gurts? Do you like them? So I got this to give for the kids so they can have snacks after school and stuff. And then for my other discounted item, I got some bread. This is this is garlic artisan, garlic parmesan artisan bread. Oh, it smells so good. Smell it, smell it. This smells like a, like a Subway sandwich kind of bread. You know, it's the garlic. And then I got some ground beef on sale. First one is some 80-20 and it had a $3 off coupon. So it was originally $6.10. And now I got it for $3.10. I think that's a good deal. Anytime I can find hamburger, like $3 a pound is a great deal. And then they had, they had a lot of those, but I didn't have too much extra money to shop, like bulk shop, um, stock up, there we go, stock up shop. So um, I just got one of those and then they had an 85.15, same thing with a $3 off coupon. So it was origi originally $6.29 and I was able to get it for $3.29 for a pound. So I thought that was a good deal. So I went ahead and grabbed that as well. And then for my big hunk of lunk, I got a sirloin tip beef roast. Uh, this was four pounds, originally $20. It had an $8 off coupon. So I got it for $12 in 12 cents. Um, and I'm going to cook this for dinner tonight, so we're going to throw this in the crock pot. Uh, it's kind of cloudy and um, cold today. It's a perfect fall weather. It's going to be a high of 68. So I think the comfort food of a roast sounds really good. Husband really likes roast as well. So I'm going to put it in the crock pot, and then we're going to cook some potatoes as well for it. Not in the crock pot, but separate because this is going to take up most of the crock pot. So I don't know, I'm either going to make mashed potatoes or we might cut some and maybe fry them in the air fryer. Not too sure yet, so we'll figure that out from here. But we're definitely having roast and then I have some canned carrots that we can have with it as well. So let me get this put up and then I'll bring it back when it's time to put that roast in the crock pot. Hey everybody, welcome back. I decided what seasonings I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and get this in first. Now, it is not recommended to rinse your meat, so I do not. Get this over here, and now, for what I'm gonna put in it, I have this roasted garlic onion mix. I got this from my husband's company one Christmas. They gave like a gift basket, and this was in there, and I've kind of just been hanging on to it because I don't really know what to do with it, so we're gonna put this on there. Um, French onion, not French onion, um, 
yeah, French onion soup mix. Yeah, that works well. Um, Lipton's, that's what I'm thinking of, Lipton's onion soup mix. Smells pretty good. Smells pretty much just like that. So it's just roasted garlic. We're gonna put that on top here. There's one thing out of my pantry. I just recently moved, so I had to downsize a lot because we moved into a duplex. That's a third the size of the house we were renting. So um, I have to go through a lot of things and I found quite a bit of spices that I want to use up. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on and why I'm choosing these certain ones. Also, here's Italian, dry Italian seasoning. This is like a dressing mix. I'm kind of imitating a Mississippi pot roast. Have you guys seen that where you use um, gravy mix and then you use Italian mix and then you use pepperonis. I have jalapenos though that I made myself. That's from 21, the year 21. So they need to get used up. And the brine really helps, um, the vinegar and the pickle juice really helps make it, will help break down the meat and make it really tender. So I have that and then I have half a stick of butter. This is what I have left over from being out. So I'm just going to throw that on there. Usually they have a whole stick on butter on there, but I find that just makes way too much um, grease in the bottom when I try and make a gravy out of everything that's in the bottom. So that is what she looks like, not too much. Uh, most of this juice will kind of form on its own and then the dressing and that ranch or that roasted garlic dip will help um, thicken that up. So I'm just going to put this on and we're going to cook this on low. It's about 10.30 right now and my goal is to have dinner ready at 6 o'clock. So that just means that probably 30 minutes before I need to start the potatoes, whatever kind of potatoes I'm going to be doing. I think I'm just going to go with mashed potatoes. That's the kids favorite. Um, and you can just throw it in the Instant Pot and make it super fast. So I'll bring you back and show you how to do my mashed potatoes as well. But that's it for now. So we're going to let this cook and I'll bring you back when it's time to make the sides. All right, everybody, the roast is ready. It is now 6.10. And to finish up this Frugal Friday, I picked out two cans of sliced carrots from my pantry to open up and serve. I'm just going to put them in a glass bowl, put some butter on there, and put them in the microwave. And then for my second side, I'm going to be having some home canned potatoes that I've canned up that I need to get used up, can these back in 21. So I'm going to open up both of these. We're going to rinse them. I'm going to pat them dry. We'll put on some seasonings and I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't done them that way before, but I think it sounds delicious. And you guys have got to see this roast. Come check it out. You ready? That's gonna be good. All right, let's leave it on there a little longer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off though. And then we're gonna let that sit and rest. I'm gonna throw the sides in and I'll bring it back when it's all done. Hi, Spooks. What you need? What's up, Spooks? Spooky Spooks. That's our youngest cat. Yeah, she's pretty cute. You need some food? How about you, Yoda? Uh oh, out of food. Is that the problem? Yeah. The problem, Yoda? Those are your brother's shoes. <laughs> Guys, check out this pot roast. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry, I was getting distracted. I mean, who's filming? Look at this. Oh, that looks so good. And that's, it's a little spicy on the edge because of the, the seasoning and the jalapenos. But the meat on the inside, you know, doesn't have any of that spiciness. Oh, that's so good. The kids have already requested it with ketchup. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then in the air fryer, I got potatoes with some lemon pepper. And then here's the carrots in the microwave. Also with that lemon pepper, I'm trying to get some of that seasoning used up. All right, I'll bring it back when it's all done. And dinner is served. 
Guys, I am super impressed with this pot roast. I've never really been a pot roast person just because it's always seemed, I don't know, dry to me, overcooked maybe, but this is so tender, look at that. I love the flavor of it. It might be like the outside of it's a little spicy because of the jalapeno brine. It is fork tender though. Now you could use the leftover juice and make a gravy. I'm not gonna quite do that tonight. And then the potatoes, these would have been better um, tossed in oil as well to kind of give them a little extra crisp, but they still got pretty crispy considering these are weren't tossed in oil and they're home canned potatoes. We're gonna put ketchup on that. Ketchup on this for the kids too. And then we'll try the carrots. Mmm. Just canned carrots with butter is so good. And that's what's for dinner. Thanks for coming shopping and cooking dinner with me for my Frugal Friday. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And if you're looking for some more videos to watch, I will have my Frugal Friday playlist listed here. So make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Mama Birds.